Hi, in today's demonstration in executeautomation.com, we're going to see the most exciting feature of test complete, which is data driven testing. Data driven testing in any tools, let's say it's QDP, Visual Studio, or Selenium, or test complete. Data driven testing is one of the integral part of any testing tool. As our project grows, as our automation script grows, we need to isolate our test scripts with our data because data are one of the driving force of our test scripts. We need to store these data either in an Excel sheets or in XML files or either in a database or in a CSV file or somewhere else so that we can maintain the data for test very easily. Hence we go for data driven testing. Error driven testing in test complete is very simple than compared to any other tools since it lets the user to write very complex codes very easily with very just very easy operations. So in this demonstration I'm going to show you how we are going to use the data driven testing in test complete using CSV files. Now also we will touch the data driven testing using Excel sheets but we're not going to just run through these in a practical demonstration but I'm going to show you the same with in a theoretical part because I don't have Excel, Excel installation in my virtual machine sorry for that well let's jump into our action so I'm gonna go to my virtual machine right now so I have created a data-driven testing project just a while before and this is the unit which is pretty empty right now so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a data source so that this data source can be used in a function which is going to drive the data or fetch the data from a CSV file. Not do that, I'm going to create a function and I'm going to name it as a driver. Right? And then I'm going to call an inbuilt function which is available in test complete called DDT. DDT is a data driven testing in test complete which has a lot of drivers like ADO drivers, CSV drivers, Excel drivers. So using the CSV driver we're going to say pass the file name. If you want, if you want to see the parameter of the CSV driver just click control plus shift plus space bar. It will show you the parameter to be passed in a CSV driver. So it asks me the file name to be passed in this fun function name. So what I'm going to do is I just created a test data .csv file a while before. So I'm going to create it once again for you guys. So let's say data dot txt. So just uh, we'll change the name afterwards. Uh, so I'm going to give this a name h comma form, right? So Test complete will automatically takes the first line of the CSV file as the column name, right? So I'm going to pass the name as Karthik and age as 27, and here is the phone number, right? And I'm going to pass this John Carter. Oops, and this is the very famous name. I just watched the movie yesterday. I really impressed with this movie. It was really good and uh, I'm gonna give this guy's age 23 so younger than me and uh, I'm gonna give Will Smith I like this guy very much so give Will Smith and his age uh, should be greater than mine so okay very cool so I'm gonna save this file name since it is in a txt file name I'm going to change this to CSV I said it's it only supports CSV right now which is comma separated value so I've changed it to CSV and I'm going to copy this uh, file name right now so CSV oops okay and I'm going to pass this file name here right great so so here is the driver method which is going to give which is going to pull the data from the data.csv file. So I'm going to create a function here let's say caller which is going to call the data from the driver method. 
so right now I'm gonna just show you a log file so log.message and here ddt dot so I'm gonna use the current driver method which is available here in test complete for ddt which will pull the data from this driver of data driven testing so now this current driver will will introduce the DDT that it is using the CSV so this current driver is now going to be CSV driver right so I've just click dot here it will show you number of functions which are available so I'm going to use the value here so if you could see the value what is this function does it will return the index of the the file name uh, index of the column that we are we have specified in the CSV so currently the first index is going to be you know name right so I'm going to pass this guy and I'm going to say name okay very cool and so we have did this function here that's great but we haven't set this data source that we are going to use this data source for this function so in order to do that we need to mention this DDT that we are going to we are going to use this particular files data to a function which is which can be done by means of this data ddt dot current driver dot drive method I'm going to give this as a parameter which is nothing but the function name so this resides in a unit 1 so it is here unit 1 dot color right great so save this guy and let's run this so I'm just gonna right click here and I'm going to run this current routine if I do this it will oops it's throwing me an error saying that Microsoft jet database engine could not find the utilities data data dot CSV that means the slash which I have given afterwards in here is wrong so I'm sorry for that since it's in directory listing I need to pass this with the double slashes I just given one slash here so it's just showing me an error so I'm just going to give a double slash here right so if I run the same again I think it should run fine cross my fingers great so it's now running fine as you could see here uh, the log message shows me that the name Karthik John Carter and Will Smith just came in that's great so I'm just close this guy and I am just interested in ages also so I'm just gonna pass this age here and also I'm interested in the phone number so I'm going to pass the phone number here great so if I just run this guy again so it will just list me all these details like Karthik's age 27 and his phone number so John Carter's age and phone number Phil Smith age and his phone number super so this is how you can write a very complex code in a very simple line if you could see the same functions that we have did in our selenium it's pretty huge you know I, I will just show you how it looks like in selenium it's very very longer because it, it just have you know your a lot of data so it's taking up some time so I'm going to move on the Internet Explorer here and I will show you how the same we have achieved in our selenium so I'm just going to open the google.com okay this way it will be easy for me to pull this page uh, okay it's pretty slow uh -huh. okay here it is so uh, we'll say execute automation and here uh, I'm going to say selenium data driven okay as you could see here 
we have did a very complex operation in selenium so what we have did is in selenium we just open an excel sheet we just got the row count we got the read cell we got this dictionary and we got all these stuffs and we just got this data here by means of passing the long functions like this and we just pass the column name and the row count to get the data in here whereas it's pretty simple and straightforward here in test complete you just you know open the csv file just pass which method is going to use and you just pass the column name here pretty straightforward it just works fine this is for a csv driver well you might be amazed i'm showing the excel sheet in selenium whereas i'm saying csv here does complete so there should be a different here uh, in excel sheet but i don't think so because for excel sheet all you have to do is you have to give ddt dot excel driver right if you just give this and if you say control shift space if you just give this it will say you the excel file name you can just pass the excel sheet name so file name come on the sheet name if you just pass that that's it other operations are pretty same they are no different and you can directly pass here the ddt dot current driver at value of the column name if you just give that it just works fine right so i have just introduced a very basic touch of data driven testing in uh, test complete this is the part one of so we are going to discuss discuss a detail a uh, little more detail on this data driven testing with using ADO and we also see how we can control these uh, column names or traversing of the data as using for loop in test complete you know later videos right many ways Thanks for watching the video.